<laughs> Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh, good evening. How are you? Uh, here, being the first in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That's what I like. I like a lily that you are first and you are always on time. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your day. You look better today, happier. Today was a better day. Aleli, you have a solution for the problem. No. No. Well, well, things are er, improving little by little. <laughs> okay, okay. Little by little, you're finding a solution. Yes, yes. You, 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 I know, look at uh, my, my message tonight, last night. Uh, I don't remember for which one. It is for... Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Your with WhatsApp. The pictures, with the picture, yes. <laughs> yes, I saw. I saw with the pictures. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need you. I need you. Help, help. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the view the past. Okay. Okay. I saw... Whoosh, I saw the foot like this. Yes. Oh, horrible, horrible teacher. <laughs> Lágrimas y sangre. I can imagine. I can yes. imagine. Mm. Teacher, I am survivor. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Teacher, yes. I'm going to home, uh, so I'm going to just listening to you uh, now. Okay. Okay. No Thanks. problem. No problem. I understand. Mm hmm Good. And Neda, how are you? Fine, teacher, and you? Very good, very good. Here we are um, relaxed, we are ready to finish. Tomorrow is our last day, and today we are ready to complete. Okay, teacher, very good. Okay. And yesterday I have a lot of problem with my Zoom. Oh, I saw. I saw that yesterday a lot of difficulty with connectivity. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, because I, in another meeting, I don't have problem. I didn't have problem, but yesterday uh, I have very, a, a lot, a lot of problems. But don't worry. It's sometimes it's the problem, the connectivity, the internet, the the cell phone, the updates. I understand. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Ine. It happens. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, this is El Salvador. Not always perfect internet. <laughs> it's the reality. In El Salvador <laughs> rain and the internet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Aleli. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Good. All right. Well, today we're gonna go ahead and. Hi, Anita. Mm -hmm. Hey, what tomorrow. Happened? Tomorrow is on day the farolitos. Ah, yes, in a taco. I know. Yes. Yes. You uh -huh. go? No, mm -hmm. we have English I class. <laughs> no, yeah. We have English class tomorrow. I wanted to go. I wanted to go, and then I checked, and I said, "Oh, it's the last day." For English class, imagine me eh, with the farolitos with the computer. Ah, pues sí, the farolito, guys. Okay, guys, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> only the farolitos online, teacher. <laughs> yeah, only online. Mm -hmm. It's like um, I don't know, Elvis or or Noé. Maybe have you ever gone to Nehapa for the fireball? Yeah, yeah. or More? Le yes, Aleli, yes. No, 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 I see you. No, Elvis? no. I, I have seen only in TV. Only in TV? No, you have to go. I went to Nehapa. I went to Nehapa. Ha! Ah, it's excitement. Oui, 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 the ball. <laughs> when you feel the ball come to your face, <laughs> it's very exciting, very exciting. Mm hmm. Well, guys, thank you so much for connecting and being here on time. Today, we are working on our exam. We want to finish. That way, tomorrow, we are not worried. Oh, 
we have to finish. Oh, we have to, no, today we want to complete the exam, relax, and we want to check, okay? This is the objective. Let me explain to you the different sections. We have four small sections, super easy, four sections. The first is listening. We're going to listen and we have to answer the questions according to the listening. The final parts of the movie for numbers three and four. Then here in part two, we're going to listen to a different article or different um, context. And then we answer questions number one and two. So four questions for listening. In the reading, we're going to, like yesterday, we read and then you answer what the word, this vocabulary in the paragraph means. What is the meaning for number one, two, and three in the paragraph? Then number four is so only complete with the vocabulary is positive, negative, or no. Super easy, the reading, only the second part. Here, in the next section is writing the words. In writing the words, we have specific words. Here we have the words, criticism, excuse, prediction, suggestion, warning, and reaction. You're going to read the sentences from number one through five and use the correct word for the description. Then in type in part two, you're going to use the word in parentheses, okay? And you're going to put into the passive form, the verb in parentheses, in the passive form and the same numbers one two three and four this is right and then the last part very nice you have two sentences like the example here you have two sentences and your objective is to write one sentence make one sentence using the vocabulary who and using the vocabulary that that is the part of joining the sentences. It's clear the five sections, sorry, the four sections? Yes. Yes? Yes, I clear. Okay, perfect. Okay, don't worry, Jaime, I understand. All right, guys. So, if no questions, hang on, let me put. No. Okay. Then we are going to begin working on the test. Um, we're, we're going to have small groups and try together, okay? We are going to have, um, I think for the four sections is enough time, it's clear. We don't need so much time. So, but we're going to have 30 minutes to make sure that everybody is okay. All right, we're ready? Yes, okay. Raquel, I'm going to put you into the group, okay? We are working on the exam. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Cesar, are you having problems connecting? Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Tak. We're about to begin a new course. We want you to keep on learning. So stay and watch the first intro video we have for you. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, it all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. Was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers, and they're in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that. Thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore. Really? But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. 
You have a good night. Okay, that's the first video. Let's continue. Perfect. So how were you like when you were younger? Listen to the conversation and find out what made Carol and Alan change. I was really immature. Part A. Listen and practice. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it was really important to me. Why was that so important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine, made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came home from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog, but I remember when I got my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I could go out on my own and go as far as I wanted to. I used to polish the bicycle every day and take really good care of it. Of course, that only lasted a few months and then I lost interest in it. So, what was another turning point for Carol and Alan? Good. There we go. Let's continue with the time clauses. So, how were you like when you were younger? Listen to the conversation and find out what made Carol and Alan change. I was really immature. Part A. Listen and practice. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it was really important to me. Why was that so important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came home from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog, but I remember when I got my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I could go out on my own and go as far as I wanted to. I used to polish the bicycle every day and take really good care of it. Of course, that only lasted a few months, and then I lost interest in it. So, what was another turning point for Carol and Alan? Okay, let's take a look. The next one. We're about to study some adjectives which will help you talk about behavior and personality. Ambitious, argumentative, 
carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. Can you tell us how you behaved in your teens, in your 20s? How do you behave now? Try to be as honest as possible. I'm a Yoke. Should you have learned English before? Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75. Exercise 8. Grammar Focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know that we use should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle, comma, subject plus could or would have plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Can you put yourself in the following hypothetical situations? Write them on our discussion box. When I was younger. If I'd. Hi, to wrap up this section, we want you to work on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. You may complete these sentences and practice them in class. Pay attention to the reduced form of have and been. Let's take a look. The next one. Ready for our next intro video? Watch it and take notes. Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to your success? I've been very lucky. And I have great customers. But it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's convenient, <laughs> right next to campus. But 
That can't be the only reason. After all, Central Cafe closed last year and it was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other, but Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. The people can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, do homework, meet their friends, and during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Outside? You mean on the grass, on campus? Anywhere. We do have tables outside too, but people do eat on campus. It's really pretty there. But it's nice to sit inside too. The atmosphere is great here. Talk about that for a minute. The lights, the music? Music is key to a cafe success. You need to make sure you have good music. I'm not an expert. I mean, I don't know much about music. But people who work here are students. They're tuned in. They know what's popular. <laughs> so I let them choose the music. And people like it. Yes. And since I want to encourage people to meet their friends here, chat, read, so on, I make sure the music's not too loud. I mean, we can hear each other just fine, right? Right. Well, Lily, thank you. I've really enjoyed learning more about what makes Choice a successful cafe. You're welcome, Jacob. Come anytime. For Campus TV, this is Jacob signing off. Hi. For you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. Ready? Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Type your suggestions on our discussion box. Hi, what qualities are important for success? Listen to the following list of adjectives that will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable, gorgeous, industrious, muscular, slender, clever, charming, knowledgeable, persuasive, 
tough, affordable, attractive, entertaining, informative, well written. We want you to work with us. Think of a businessman, an actor, and a president. Now think of at least two qualities for each and write them down. Can you think about fashionable places in your city? Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music, and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Do you ever go to any of these places? Tell us why or why not. Okay. So as you can see, we're doing quite a bit. You should be advancing on the exam. Always it's important to review those videos. Why? Because those videos give you a lot of information about what you can or what you should remember in order to do or in order to answer your test. Okay. So always remember, if you're not clear, go back, check the videos, see, oh, you don't have to watch all the videos like we are in this moment. But it is important to go back and take a look at which videos or which topics for you were a little bit difficult. This is the most important part. It's probably one of the biggest tips. Another is you can always go back and look at your answers. What did you write originally? Um, how were the answers? Sometimes only by looking a little bit at your answers, you remember a little bit more. Okay, And this is going to help you because not always, especially after three, four weeks, you don't always remember exactly what you studied the first week. And so it always helps you just by checking and looking and you, you can go back and you say, oh, now I remember by watching the examples that they give you. Not only the idea of your practice, but also the actual examples from the videos. Okay. So in this moment, we're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to continue watching the rest of them, um, but the videos, but you should be able to answer most of those questions correctly, even with uh, just a few moments of going back and checking everything. So let's take a look at our next one. Julie goes there is to have. Hello, if you wanna give reasons, you may do so by using because, since, because of, and some others. Stay, and you will learn not only the meaning, but how to use them. Giving reasons. I like the Casablanca because it's always packed. Since it's always so packed, there's a long wait outside the club. It's popular because of the fashionable people. The Soul Club is famous for its fabulous music. Due to the crowds, the Casablanca is difficult to get into. The reason people go there is just to be seen. The reason that people go there is just to be seen. The reason why people go there is just to be seen. To give reasons, we may use because, since, because of, for, due to, the reason that, the reason why, is. Let's begin with because and since. They mean the same, although since is more formal. Because and since are followed by a subject and a verb. Subject plus verb. I love the Soul Club because the music is great. Because or since can begin or end a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Since it's packed, comma, there's a long wait. Or 
there is a long wait since it's packed. The clause with because or since is a subordinated one, not a main clause. Because of and due to. They mean the same, although due to often has a negative connotation. Because of and due to are followed by a noun or a noun phrase. This is my favorite club because of the great music. Because of or due to can begin a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Due to the crowd, comma, it's difficult to get into. Or it's difficult to get into due to the crowds. The clause with because of or due to is a subordinated clause, not a main clause. Four, four plus noun or noun phrase. It's famous, well-known, popular, for its music. The reason that, the reason why is. The reason Julie goes there is to have fun, or the reason why Julie goes there is to have fun. Can you answer the following questions given reasons? Why do you think English is so popular? Why do you think there's so much traffic in your city? Write your reasons on our discussion box. Okay, now we are at unit three, quick review. How are you doing with the intro videos? Remember, you may play them as many times as you need to. The idea is for you to feel comfortable with them. Stonehenge is a mysterious ancient monument, isolated deep in the English countryside. To this day, no one has been able to determine who built Stonehenge or why. The original monument was made up of approximately 153 colossal standing stones, weighing up to 40 tons and arranged in a circular enclosure. The people who built Stonehenge must have been doing so for purposes that seemed very, very important to them at the time. It was always a literally monumental undertaking. A lot of the big stones come from Wales, so transporting those for people who didn't have the wheel has to have been an unbelievably difficult uh, undertaking. Stonehenge has been called everything from a Neolithic hospital to an alien landing site, a solar temple, to a druid shrine. The period we're dealing with here is our, our prehistory, and what defines prehistory is that we've got no written records about anything. So everything that we understand about it comes from, from archaeology, from what we can excavate, what we can analyze. In 2008, hundreds of human bones Are we ready? Complete, we check. Yeah. Excellent. I think there was enough time for make sure um, that everybody completed, but let's take a look and make sure that in case you had an issue or something didn't add up, we can take a look. So in our listening, um, the first part, the first audio, the final version of the movie, What do you think? Is it in order? Doesn't have sound effects or is put together by the other by the editor and director? It's put um, together by the editor and, and directors. Okay, great. And what does Cheryl say a good landscape photographer has to understand? How weather can affect a photo. Okay, great. Good. And what about Ray? Ray doesn't recycle glass. Why? get any money he doesn't get any money okay yeah. 
and Danielle bought a bike because she wants to reduce a traffic. Mm -hmm. of traffic. Okay, wants to reduce traffic. Okay, as you can see, all of our answers are correct and you should also be correct in your platform. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at the second part, section D, reading. Here in our reading, what was a what do you think is a good title for the article? Animate. Animate movies result and ticket sales and awards. Okay, in ticket sales and awards. Good. And render in paragraph two. What does that mean? Render in paragraph two. Translate from raw to a final form. Okay. Translate from raw to a final form. In cast, in paragraph three. Choose Charles actors. Or pass. Okay, good. And the last one. What do animated movies have? The animated movies have had? A positive. Okay, a positive effect. Okay, great, excellent. So we have a positive, choose actors for parts, translate from raw to final, and they result in ticket sales and awards. So this part, we should all have a great score. And fine, here we have the next one. Many different words for each section. Um, The number one, you should, you should keep track of your computer files. What do you think? Suggestion. Suggestion. Good. Pronunciation. Suggestion. Suggestion. Correct. Suggestion. Oops. Well, capital letter. Don't worry. We'll fix it in a moment. What about number two? If you do it again, you'll lose your job. Warning. 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 Very good. Warning. You're so irresponsible. You lose everything. Criticism. Criticism. Correct. Criticism. Correct. Good pronunciation. Criticism. Good. And then the next one. Excuse. Skills. See, skills. Hang on. Excuse. Correct. Exactly. Excuse. Mm -hmm. And then five. You'll probably find the file in the trash on your computer. Prediction. Prediction. Mm -hmm. All right. Here, we're using this verb in the correct form for the passive. What would be the correct form of do? Be done. Be done. Okay. Good. What about rank? Be ranked. Good, with ED. Very nice. And the top choices? Archon. 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 Correct. Contacted with ED. Good. Are contacted. And the last one? Are invited. Good. Pronunciation, invited. Invited. Correct. Invited. Invited. There you go. Exactly. We have invited, are contacted, be ranked, be done, prediction, excuse, criticism, warning, and suggestion. Now we have the last part, which is usually the more complicated because it has to be exact, but... Here we have many different ones. For this one, we'll show you the answers because there are a couple of different answers that you can have. So for example, number one, we this is the way. Remember, it's important to use the commas correctly. If you don't use the commas, the computer is going to mark it wrong. Eneida, can you please read the answer? Okay, teacher. A gaffer? A uh, gaffer who, uh -huh, 
who works on a movie or TV crew has to carry up the lighting design. Okay, good, very nice. Thank you. Number two, uh, Aleli, can you please read the different forms that we can write the answers? Um, dialogue, editors are the sound technicians, uh, who especially in editing film scripts. Continue. What are the other forms? Is it the form? But there are many. Look, look at oh. me. There are many different other forms. Dale, editors are. Oh, okay. And the answer mm -hmm. is Dale, editors are some. Are some technicians who specialize in editing. Well, scripts. Mm -hmm. Or? Or that. Um, yes, yeah, Seria. Um, um, Dale, editors. Um, that. That are? No. Yes, only, only read. Don't worry, lady. Only you have to read. That's it, but don't worry. All right. So we have different forms. What are the different forms? Super easy. We can use who, specialize. Who? We can oh. use that, okay. specialize. That is specialize. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then the but same. That. Word. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we the most common who or that, both answers are correct. Okay. Yes. Let's take a look at number three. Noe, can you please read number three? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Number three is uh, a property mystery responsible uh, for buying props that are hired by the actor. The answer is a property master is responsible for buying props uh, that are hired by the actor. Mm -hmm. Very good. Only the pronunciation handled by the actor. Okay, teacher, thank you. Mm -hmm. This word, teacher, what is it? The, the, the pronunciation is handled. Hand, okay. Handled. And this is controlled or managed. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Raquel, can you read number four? What were the different options? Critics. Mm -hmm who sometimes see more than 10 new, new movies in a week, write film reviews, or critics, critics, critics that sometimes see more than 10 new movies a week, write film reviews. Very nice, super easy. What is the difference? We use who or we use that. Both of them are correct. And then we have the last one. Jefferson, can you please read the last examples that we have there? Sure, teacher. Executive producers who are responsible for the budget are involved in shooting a film. Or executive producers that are responsible for the budget aren't involved in shooting a film. Very nice. Any questions? One more time. What's the difference? Who or that? Remember, the great thing is that who or that is the idea. Mm -hmm. That who for people, that for people and things. Mm -hmm. Guys, any questions? Yes, teacher. I um the last um number five. Yes. I have the problem at the platform. No, no me la reconocía. Ah, number five. Yes, in the writing, one, two, three, four, nothing. Copy from here, check, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, one moment. And who are that? 
Okay, one moment, one moment. Let me help you. In this moment, okay. let me copy. I have the same problem, but uh, the reason is the comedian. The apostrophe. Uh -huh, the apostrophe. No. Oh, no. Is Please it correct? The um, the correct? Copy from the chat. No. Lily? Okay. 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 Copy and paste and make sure that it, it okay, works. Teacher. For you. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Anybody it... else? Okay. Thank you. No, this is strongly. Thank you. Eleni, is correct or, or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Excellent. I have the percent. 100%. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Raquel is very late to be drinking coffee. Then you're not going to sleep. But uh huh. The others, everybody's okay. I need the caffeine. I see. It's like ten o'clock, <laughs> and the, if I drink coffee at ten o'clock, whoosh, I don't sleep. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I cannot sleep if I don't drink coffee. Ah, Cesar, I, I need a coffee for go sleep. Really, Elvis? Yes. Wow. If I don't drink a cup of coffee, I don't sleep. Wow. I don't can sleep. My okay. body knows that the coffee is the way to sleep. It's like the sign to sleep. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Good. Well, guys, any other questions? Uh, all of the others are correct. Yes? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So now let me make sure everyone is complete. Unit one, two, three, four, five, and the final exam. Correct? Yes. Yes. Nobody needs help with unit three yes. or unit yes. four or no questions for the other units? Okay, good. Perfect. So then we have a little bit of conversation today and then tomorrow as well. So guys, tell me so far, uh, tomorrow is our last day. Um, did you complete already the registration for the next course? Did you uh, uh, did you complete, send the email and all the information? Yes, teacher. Yes. I do. Excellent. So the next course is advanced. Advanced one. Hmm, imagine advanced one, one year later, but okay, now we are, <laughs> one year, one year, it's okay. I am not feeling ready. Yes. In the real life, it's a beginner. In the real life, it's difficult because it's more vocabulary. It's not a small vocabulary, only academic. This is why. Mm -hmm. Good. So what are you going to do next week? Because next week, no class. Next week, September 15th. Do you have vacation from your job? Raquel, maybe not because has the business, the same Aleli. When you have your business, is you don't have vacation. You, you work vacation. What vacation? Vacation when you don't have money. <laughs> yeah. You have reason. You are at the university. You don't have vacation as well. No vacation, Cesar. No, because you have a lot of homework. Oh, yes. Always a lot of homework. It's true. It's true. You uh -huh. are a good student. Hmm? Cesar is a good student. Exactly. But Cesar, because he works a lot, right? Yeah. Uh, Cesar I, is English. <laughs> okay. You were going to say? Aleli, no. You you next week. You have no, to, no, Cesar, no, no, no. Uh, oh, Cesar is single for uh, no vacation. Mm, Cesar. Mm. Says, uh, okay, Cesar. Cesar. Congratulations, Cesar. 
Aleli is, is really bad. Qué envidia. <laughs> <laughs> And Aleli's husband listening. Huh? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué dijiste, Aleli? Mm. <laughs> No, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. But Aleli, I think, has been married very long. If I remember, 20, 21 years, Aleli? 21 years. 21 yes. years. 21 years. <gasps> Imagine. It's a long time. He's alive, teacher. It's yes, alive. it's similar to it's my a dangerous age. woman. <laughs> Is for me, it's, it's necessary change, necessary new life, Aleli. New life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't say the secret. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. <laughs> With Tom, ha Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> wow. I didn't know. It's for the Top Gun Maverick, right? Uh huh. Aleli needs to share us the, the secret for that. Mm -hmm. Cesar, do you have a girlfriend or are you married? No, I'm single, but I, I have a girlfriend. Ah, you see, no. Uh huh. <laughs> How long have you been with your girlfriend, Cesar? Five years. Uy, Raquel, what do you think? Oh my God. It's too. <laughs> Raquel, <laughs> Raquel, Raquel. Uh -huh. Raquel. 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 A lot of time. <laughs> a long time, five years. <laughs> yeah. You need to check the relationship. You need to check the relationship. <laughs> yes. yes. Cesar, five years is a long time. Yes, it's a long time. But I don't know. The men, the uh, men have decision. The men have decision, Cesar. <laughs> I, I think yes. I think. Mm -hmm. well, okay. So what is that? What is your plan, Cesar? What is your how do you imagine the future? Five years? Do you imagine continue with the same girlfriend? I think it's about to happen something. <laughs> oh <laughs> the next step. Yeah. Mm -hmm. after the graduation. He's young, teacher. He's young. Cesar is 30. Yeah. 30 years. Cesar, how old are you? No, I'm 23. I'm going to... Ah, okay. It's young. It's yes, young. yes, yes. I, I, I thought Cesar was 30. I don't know why. 23, Cesar. Yeah, 22. Oh, so Cesar, your girlfriend is from high school. No. Ya hice la cuenta. Ya hice la cuenta. Ajá, ajá. Cesar? No. Is the first year of university your girlfriend? Yes. Ajá. I knew. Ajá. Cortamos la de bachillerato, la niña chiquita. Fuimos a mujer. Hey, César. <laughs> no, she's actually, actually she's from the, the high school, but uh, we started at high school. You see, but, from but high school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's typical. Is normal in the first year of university or the last year of the high school. Many relationships last the long. Mm -hmm. This is the the moment where yeah. if you if you continue, you continue many years. If you cut, this is the moment get a new boyfriend in university. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Morena, are you married? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. I married. Have been a. 24 <gasps> years. Four years. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, Morena. Big wing. Oh my god. She is the champion. <laughs> Morena. Are, be honest, Morena. Be honest with the class. Are you happy? <laughs> Continue married. Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> yes. Not like a lily. Not like a lily. No. <laughs> And the question is for the husband. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no. Uh -huh. And just and you and I imagine as your are your husband next to say yes, uh -huh. say yes. Listen, listen, say yes, say yes. Think, uh -huh. Say you are you happy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, guys, 
Thank you so much. We are finished unit five and the exam. So tomorrow is like this. Tomorrow is only speaking, having fun, relaxing, practicing our English in normal conversations. Okay? okay. All right, guys. Have a great night. Okay. okay you Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 B